Hi darlings, I have a power of three message today for the 14th. This is for the collective heart. I love you guys. Welcome to the new subscribers, to my fans and followers who have been there all along. I fucking love you guys. Let's talk. Today's a big day, the 14th. We have a new moon coming up too, which is about creation, setting your intentions, right? So today's five frequency change. I think it's a change of the mindset here and that we are recognizing when with clay and this card coming out together clay mm, we got to talk about clay in depth okay this these two cards coming out together showing that there's healing here of the third eye as well and you recognizing your ability to create with clay we're going to talk about that but first let's Star always speaks to healing, okay? And she very much has feminine energy here and that cat, the eyes look like cat eyes to me. It feels Lyran energy. And I usually don't specifically talk about that, but that's what's coming through here. Star seeds, star beings, human divine co-creators. I'm talking to you today, okay? Do not discount your imagination, for it is through an inspired thought that something beautiful is created. You will soon be inspired by an inner vision. Your imagination is real. It can and will become your reality if you trust in the power of love. The imagination is a magical and creative force full of endless possibility. There's a knowing there, the star there. Okay, that's healing. Yeah, she even has... It's so much pink energy is unconditional love, okay? Seeing with a new set of eyes here, the eyes of the heart. This is from your galactic team of light today, the eyes of the heart. Look at that. And I am just blown away when I see this card because literally, I have just literally experienced a moment like this with a white seagull above me. And I captured that moment. Check that video out, man. Like. So what's this say here? Today I perceive the real beauty of every person I meet. With the eyes of my heart, I see behind the personality and focus on the energy of love that dwells beneath the surface. I am filled with the wonder at the presence of God in every one of us. The eyes of the heart allow me to see the divine shining everywhere. Bam! I love that so much. I hold these up here in case you need to take a snapshot or whatever, you know. Maybe you need to take a snapshot of that one today. Let's talk about clay. This is from my liminal spirit stack. So maybe we're in this transition zone from, you know, this is also a white bird is a, a messenger from the sky about peace coming, peace coming within, okay? You connecting the dots here about you're, you're, you're a master creator, okay? Especially with clay coming out. Think about clay and how... Just a slight impression can make a difference in clay when we mold it, right? When we're creating with it, right? But, okay. I'm going to read the entire thing here, darling. So here is what the material. How can we transition here? Okay. Today's a change day, a transformation day. Maybe clay is the message that you need to hear. Clay has long played... An important part in creation myths, especially those that say the gods fashioned humankind from clay and breathed life into it. This connection is still present within the Jewish myths of the Gollum, a creature made of clay that is brought to life with breath and sacred words. Clay is the result of fine particles being deposited over time by bodies of water. Since early humans congregated near life-giving water sources, our discovery of clay was inevitable. Across the world, every culture has developed its own system of ceramics, using it for utilitarian containers, home construction, and spiritual and decorative objects. Our hands give clay shape, then fire transforms its molecules into something that stands the test of time. Stands the test of time. Mm. Okay, what are the messages now? Let's take this spiritually. Let's take... Let's take this wisdom from clay, from a material of earth here, and create with this. Make this magic, okay? We're alchemists. What is clay teaching us here? All it takes is a touch to make an impression upon clay, and something begins to take shape. Realize that even small gestures can impact others greatly 
for better or for worse. Mm, what are the impressions you are making in your world today? The situation is workable, meaning you can make changes, reshape it, add more to it, and take away from it, as long as you are willing to invest in it. I love these messages. And then while clay is strong and resilient, once fired, it can be broken, and it can be very hard to put the pieces back together again. Do not conflate the ability to withstand fire with being incapable of damage. Handle with care and be cautious. Don't assume that everyone else already knows the rules. Those are the messages that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was a source of empowerment and what your heart needed to hear. I love you. I love you, tribe. Mwah.